welcome back everybody to our devotional through the book of Psalms today. Um, we are continuing our time, just 24 days in Psalms. Um, and based upon our devotional, you can get on our website. The link is also in the description. If you're on our podcast, you can click right below and get the same link um, to engage holistically in our devotional today as we continue 24 days through the book of Psalms. Today's Psalm is Psalm number 84. The title of our devotional today that we're going to read from, from what we wrote. Um, so you guys will see me reading, so maybe you want to listen to my voice. Whether you're driving, want to watch together, whatever it is, let's see what the word of the Lord has to say. The title today is Why It's Good to Look a Little Farther Down the Road. Let's go to Psalm number 84 and see what the word of the Lord has to say. It says these words, How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord Almighty. My soul yearns, even fates, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God, even the sparrow has found a home and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may have her young, a place near your altar, Lord Almighty, my King and my God. Blessed are those who dwell in your house, they are ever praising you. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on pilgrimage as they pass through the valley of Baca. As they make it to the place of springs, the autumn rains over, also over it cover its pools. They go from strength to strength till each appears in, before God in Zion. Hear my prayer, Lord God Almighty. Listen to me, God of Jacob. Look on our shield, O God. Look with favor on your anointed one. For better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. For the Lord God is a shield and sun. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those whose walk is blameless. Lord Almighty, blessed is the one who trusts in you. The title of our devotional is Why It's Good to Look a Little farther down the road. Have you ever felt like you were stuck between where you are and where you desire to be? Where you've mapped out your life and flagged all the milestones you want to meet, and but one day you wake up and realize you're not where you plan to be. You can't see an easy way out of this detour. What do you do when you're on the journey and the journey you're on isn't the journey you wished or thought it would be? God does not withhold good things from his people. That's Psalm 84 verse 11. There's nothing wrong with making plans, but our plans ought to be informed by God's word and submitted to his will. God sees your life from beginning to end. God knows what you need, and God's plans for you are, are, well, they're perfect. When we narrow our eyes to see only the path we want to take, detours detrain us of joy. But whenever we're open to whatever God has for us, detours are places of opportunity. We're able to go from strength to strength on whatever path life takes us. Psalm 84 verses 5 and 7. Even more important than the milestones we hit or miss is the people and the person we spend the journey with. Because one thing that you never get back is time. And time with God is ultimately what our hearts long for. A day with God fills our souls with what achi- ways achieving goals simply cannot do. So go ahead and make plans, pray for guidance, and celebrate when you make milestones. But don't get so attached to a plan that you lose sight of the person who put you on the right path. So there's some things I want you to reflect on today. What is your favorite thing about spending time with God? When is the last time your plans took a detour? What is one thing that you've learned through time with God about you and about God? It's good to look a little further down the road. Because you're going to see that God's already there. Let's pray together. God, today, thank you that better is one day with you than a thousand days elsewhere. Let today be the day we spend with you. Let today be the day we walk and talk with you. And let today be the day we're awakened to where you are. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, have a wonderful day. You can download our devotional by clicking right below here and uh, you'll be able to go right to a link on our website or you can click the link on the podcast. Those of you are listening to our podcast as well. Outside of that, we'll see you right here tomorrow for a little moment in time in the book of Psalms as we continue to become emotionally healthy Christians. Have a great day. Mm-hmm.